Financial Literacy for Kids, Part 5. Debit and Credit. Have you ever noticed that most people pay for things using small plastic cards? Did you know that there are actually two different kinds of plastic cards that are used to pay for things? It is true. One is called a debit card and the other is called a credit card. Today, we are going to talk about debit and credit and the differences between the two. That way, when you pay for things yourself, you can do so using financial literacy. Remember, financial literacy is understanding and using specific skills to manage money smartly and understanding how debit cards and credit cards work will definitely help your financial literacy skills. So, let's get into it, shall we? First, let's talk about the difference between a debit card and a credit card. A debit card is a small, hard plastic card that is directly linked to your bank account, which means you use your debit card to pay for things with money you already have. Most often, a debit card is linked to what is called a checking account. If you do not have money in your checking account, you cannot use your debit card to pay for things. Even though a credit card is also a small, hard plastic card, it is not linked to a bank account. Instead, a credit card is issued by a credit card company or other financial institution. It is basically a type of loan, and the company who issues you the card is the company loaning you the money. Here's how it works. The credit card company loans you money with a set credit limit, or maximum amount of money you can spend, and you pay it back according to the credit company's schedule, usually one payment per month. Typically, you have to make a minimum monthly payment on the amount you spend, which is the least amount you can pay the lender back each month to reduce your debt. Credit card companies also charge you interest if it takes you longer to pay the money back or if you do not pay the full amount back every month. However, if you pay off all of your credit card balance every month, which is also called paying in full, you will not be charged interest on your purchases. For example, Frankie Finance is thinking about charging a new bike on her credit card that costs $350. The minimum payment she would have to make each month is $15 until the balance is paid down to zero. Sounds pretty reasonable, right? But wait, we don't have all the facts. The credit card company wants to charge her 16% interest on her purchase. At 16%, if Frankie pays only the minimum payment of $15, it will take her 27 months to pay off the bike. That is over two years. Not only is that a long time, but Frankie would actually end up paying about $70 more for the bike because of interest charges. However, if Frankie is able to pay off the whole amount of $350 in full that month, she will not have to pay any interest. Frankie also looks at her checking account and realizes that she has $500. She could pay for her new bike using her debit card and directly access money she already has, which means that her account balance would go from $500 down to $150. Hmm, that is a lot to think about. Which option would you choose if you were Frankie? And what are some ways that you can use debit and credit cards responsibly? Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.